Hi, Migrant Head Start families. I am Stephanie Bailiff from Monroe County ISD. I'm here to read to you Caps for Sale. Caps for Sale. Look at the front of that book and what do you see on it? Can you see a bunch of little hats? What else do you see? You see the big tree? What's he doing in the tree? And what's hiding behind the tree? Oh, I'm curious. I can't wait to see what this book is about. Caps for sale. Caps for sale. Wow, look at all of those caps on his head. He keeps stacked up really tall. Once there was a peddler who sold caps. He carried them on top of his head. First, he had his own checked cap. There it is, first, right on his head. Then a bunch of gray caps, brown caps, blue caps, and red caps at the very top. Caps, caps for sale, 50 cents a cap. One morning, he couldn't sell any caps. Slowly, he walked up and down the street calling, Caps! Caps for sale! 50 cents a cap! But nobody wanted any caps. I think I'll go for a walk in the country, he said. He walked for a long time until he came to a great big tree. That's a nice place for a rest, he thought. So he went to sleep. But when he woke up, all the caps were gone, except his own checked What do you think happened to all of his caps? Let's find out. He looked to the right. He looked to the left. He looked behind the tree. No caps. Then he looked up. And what do you think he saw? Do you see any caps besides his own checked cap? I don't see any either. <gasps> On every branch sat a monkey. On every monkey was a gray, a brown, a blue, or a red cap. My goodness. You monkeys, you, he said, shaking a finger at them. You give me back my caps. But the monkeys only shook their fingers back at him and said, tss, tss, tss. Oh man, how do you think he's going to get his caps back? This made the peddler angry. He shook his hands at them and said, You monkeys, you give me back my caps. But the monkeys only shook their hands back at him and said, tch, tch, tch. Hmm. By this time, the peddler was really very, very angry. He stamped his feet and shouted, You monkeys, you, you must give me back my caps. But the monkeys only stamped their feet back at him and said, tss, tss, tss. Oh, goodness.
At last, he became so angry that he pulled off his own cap and threw it to the ground and began to walk away. Well, it's making him angry, isn't it? But then, each monkey pulled off its cap. What do you think they did with it? All the gray caps, and all the brown caps, and all the blue caps, and all the red caps came flying down out of the tree. So the peddler picked up his caps and put them back on his head. First, his own checked cap, then the gray caps. Then the brown caps, then the blue caps, and the red caps on the very top. And slowly, slowly, he walked back to town calling, Caps! Caps for sale! Fifty cents a cap! Caps for sale! What a fantastic book. Thank you for joining me today in reading Caps for Sale. Have a great day.